Less Online gets a publisher for the Western market. CCP unveils Dust 514 spiritual successor. All that and more. I'm Zach Sharps, and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, you may remember us recently covering Perfect World International's new expansion. Well, it appears Perfect World Entertainment is showing some love to their other free-to-play title, Swordsman Online. This love is in the form of a newly announced expansion titled Lone Wanderer and features a fair bit of new content. The expansion will introduce the new Falconer class, glass weapons, a level cap raised to 99, new quests, new maps to explore, a free-for-all PvP arena, and a whole lot more. Also featured in this announcement was server merges to keep the populations dense. Have you played Swordsman? If so, what do you think? Bethesda and Direwolf Digital decided to update Elder Scrolls Legends website this week and with said update came loads of new information about the upcoming free-to-play digital card game. We found out that in Elder Scrolls Legends you'll create a deck utilizing two attributes and that combination will lead to it having a class just like one of the classes in the Elder Scrolls series. Each deck will be contrived of the usual assortment of creatures and spells which you'll use in order to take your opponent down from 30 health all the way to zero. However, there is a couple of unique twists here to the standard Hearthstone formula. Every five damage you take, you'll draw a card that can possibly change its height of battle if it has the prophecy tag on it. Also, there are two lanes to play your cards in, which provides even more of a strategic thinking process on where certain cards should be placed. Overall, I'm quite interested to sit down and play the game because I love card games. You guys know me. I played Duelist. I played Chronicle. I played Hearthstone. I play every card game that releases, but I'm not quite sure how I like the RNG factor that the prophecy cards bring to the table. Luckily for all of us, closed beta is out now, and if I had to guess when open beta would occur, you'll likely hear Bethesda announce it to start after their conference at E3. Do you love sex scenes in your MMOs? Well, luckily for you, the highly anticipated Korean MMORPG Bless Online finally has a Western publisher. Who is it though? Brace yourselves, Aria Games. Yes, that is correct. The publishers behind Echo of Soul and other titles picked up Bless Online and will be bringing it to North America and European regions soon. TM. Unfortunately, there's not much information as to exactly when it will come out, how far apart updates will be from its Korean counterpart, etc., but it's nice to hear that we will finally actually be getting it. If you wish to know more about the game, I did do a Foreign Fridays episode for it not too long ago, and you can check it out down in the description below. I'll, I'll be sure to link it, I promise. I found it to be fun, nothing breathtakingly unique though, and certainly it will provide a boost to Aria Games portfolio. CCP Games recently had a fan fest for their hit MMORPG EVE Online and at this event they showed off gameplay from their spiritual successor to Dust514 currently called Project Nova. Now as you'll see this footage was shot via a phone because CCP still hasn't officially released gameplay for the game but it does give you a fair picture of how the game will play and sort of how the animation quality and graphics quality is. Unlike Dust514, Project Project Nova seems to be constrained and not as open world, and in this demo it appeared that soldiers were sporting a few high tech gadgets such as stealth fields and a shield generator. We also noticed that there were several customization options, with mercenaries choosing from light, medium, or heavy loadouts to help fulfill various roles on a team. Fortunately for us, unlike its predecessor, which was a PlayStation 3 exclusive, Project Nova will be available on PC. I personally think the gameplay looked very promising, and it's great to see developers continually pushing out brand new free-to-play experiences for all of us. That said, it does bring us to the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked you guys what was the most you've spent on a single item in a free-to-play MMORPG. A user by the name of Red Wolf stated the following, The most I've spent was $79 for Ember Prime and her Prime weapons, which was money well spent since it was my most used Warframe. Thanks for your guys' responses. Some of you guys spent thousands on random games, which is pretty crazy. But hopefully those thousands provided you a lot of fun and memories, and hopefully not nightmares. Nightmares? 
nightmares are bad. If you want your comment possibly featured in next week's episode, make sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, which game do you guys wish would go free to play? I can think of a couple, but I want to see what you guys come up with. Last up in the news this week, you know how I said Guild Wars 2 Spring Update was stated to be a make or break for ArenaNet's image by our own Jason Winter? Well, that update did release and it seemed to have tackled a lot of complaints many have had with the game ever since Heart of Thorns released. In this update came updates to the difficulty of playing throughout a whole map meta chain and changes to rewards of drop in, drop out style gameplay with more non-event rewards giving players more incentive to go off the beaten path and explore. Speaking of rewards, all XP for max level enemies has been raised by 50% to help with mastery tracks. For dungeons, token rewards have been doubled and there's a new repeatable achievement that rewards players with 5 gold and 150 tokens for completing 8 unique dungeon paths. PvP players out there got a beta for a new reward track system and population balances for World vs. World. And finally, there is free stuff! Everyone loves free stuff! Players who purchased Heart of Thorns have received an instant level 80 boost as well as a shared inventory slot. Pretty hefty update and awesome rewards. It seemed like they've addressed a lot of the concerns I've heard from players and that's always a great thing that developers are actually listening to us for once. You know what never concerns players, free stuff of course, be sure to check out MMOBomb.com's giveaways page bookmark it and check it daily to ensure you never miss out on freebies. As for myself, you guys could stalk me on Twitter at Zach Sharps, but as always, signing out until next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps and I'll catch you guys next time.